hey guys I'm back again for another video hope you're having a beautiful day so uh, we know they have the RTX 3080 3070 3060 for the desktop version what about the laptop versions right uh, when are those gonna come out well there is people are expecting um, Nvidia to make an announcement at CES and if you saw my previous video CES is gonna be upcoming week January 11th to January 14th so stay tuned for that but what's gonna be the performance for this graphics card right the mobile version so the RTX 3080 max Q the max Q is rumored to uh, it's gonna have about <clears throat> a little more when, when you talk about CUDA course it's gonna have a little more than the RTX 3070 right but less than the RTX 3080 so it's gonna be like in the middle you can say this is the RTX 3080 max Q which is uh, the mobile version that laptops are gonna be using whenever they make a public announcement about it so you could expect that now uh, if you compare it to the previous generations right I think it's a big jump so let's compare mobile graphics card to mobile graphics card. So in this other tab I have here, I'm going to show you. You have the RTX 2080 Ti desktop version with 4,352 uh, CUDA cores and stuff. Well, you see the performance here, but you see here the RTX 2080 desktop with 2,944 and the 2080 Super with mobile version oh, oh let's compare uh, just regular 2080 to regular mobile 2944 mobile 2944 so not big of a difference in the new generation you see a big difference right but still going from this 2944 to 6144 it, it's an incredible jump now Personally, I don't. I wouldn't buy a laptop for gaming. Uh, I did it once, and I didn't really like it. The screen wasn't as big as I would like it to be. And compare always to the desktop, the laptop is always going to be slower. You could say the the mobile counter counterpart is going to always going to be a little slower. So I prefer just to, if I do any gaming, just to do it on my desktop computer. But that is the update I wanted to bring to you guys the 3080-3070 mobile processors are going to be coming out soon they're going to be announced so just keep that in mind and yeah just wait and see memory bandwidth cutting half basically for the mobile version compared to the desktop version so yeah that's it for this video if you like the content please like share and subscribe and let's wait and see what they say in at ces this january coming up all right stay safe out there guys and keep positive positive thoughts see you